Hey, this is John, fix a fence here in Portland, Oregon. Um, I'm going to shoot a little video here about a, a pole jack. It's a pretty innovative item. Um, it's great for the little uh, for the fence guy out there, you know, on some chain link fences, little small panels, probably less than 10 feet gates. If you, uh, and that's what I'm going to show you a little video about here. I'll show you the the tool here that I'm talking about. It's a uh, a panel stretcher. It, uh, you know, it's a pretty cool little device here. Uh, the, the little, there's an action level level here, and it's able to, uh, you know, you clip it right back up. You put the uh, tension uh, bar in this. This goes around the post, and voila, you're sucking things right up. Yeah, we got James here at Fix a Fence. Yes, sir. He's on the he's on the gate scene. What he's doing it's called a panel stretcher. It's exclusively for chain link fences. I don't know if you guys have one of those or not, but look at that slick little thing. Instead of using a chain or anything like that, it just sucks that stuff right up. We're able to put those nuts and bolts in like lickety split. You know what I mean? So James, he's been doing this for uh, a couple years. I've had him on the sense fence line since he's about six years old. <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> anyway, yep, getting after it. Proud of this guy. The panel structure in action. Take two. Because you know, those, uh, where are those other, oh, those, those, those brackets right there these tension bands here you know sometimes well as you know I do they're, they're kind of like crap uh, but anyway good innovation product but nuts and bolts I think are way much better what do you think James yeah huh the other thing was too easy to take off I didn't have to use anything but pull on it for security purposes would you use them yeah for here at your house, would you use those there? Oh no, not those ones. No. Okay, on these ones here, you'd for yeah, yeah. I'd use these. definitely put the nuts and bolts in there. Right on, you're a good man. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> That's it. Oh, you missed it. Take it off. Oh my goodness. You missed the spot. See? This is what happens when you don't get the tension bar. See how he, see how he messed up there? He didn't get the tension bar in that little hook. That's what that hook is for. Go ahead and tap that off, James. So it's a good thing he made the mistake. He's showing the people what not to yeah, do. That's why I did that. That's why you did that, see? Yeah, to show you guys. To show you guys that just see how you get that in there? And then and then you just stretch, stretch, make sure that's in there. Boom, bam. Just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, and then he puts the nuts and bolts in there and and bam. And we got ourselves a nice gate for a residential. And you're gonna take them bars and little bands off because uh, you know, it seems like people can do. They just unstretch it with their hands and next thing you know it's off and we've seen so many times. Well anyway, that's what the gate looks like when it's all done. We've done tightened all the nuts and bolts up. I put new bands in, bar bars on there, new bands. Uh, and anyway, so that little uh, bent frame gate, it's going to go on a on a customer's job. And anyway, I just want to give you guys an idea what that little panel stretch will do for you. Tighten things right up. I mean, that thing is tighter than a bull's ass at fly time. Anyway, yeah, John at Fix a Fence. Just letting you know the bull grip or the panel stretcher does wonders on little panels like this. Get yourself one if you can find one out there.